almost as our parents' selves. We were both little. One day, they were just gone. We didn't know why. Lena was the one who got us to safety. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead. At the time, I didn't know what survival meant. It was only her. She saved me. Diary entry. Oh, my head feels weird. There you are. I was starting to think you were out. Man, you have to get out of that town along with your sister. Why? Have you ever heard of the Reaper? Only rumors. Why? They are real. He's very real. He's also heading towards your town. Did your informants tell you that? Yes. So be it. They deserve it. But you and your sister's son, so please move here for the time being. Hmm. A bit swaggy, but the story is awfully convenient in case you'd want us here. Which you wanted from the start. This is the part where you want to leave me no matter what I say, isn't it? <laughs> Believe. It's from trust. I don't feel any trust. The facts are working against you. Which one is more likely? You finally having enough of the empty mansion? And coming up with the story or the Reaper actually existing? Coming to a village. The mansion look at me with a troubled expression. I can't stop you. You know what you know. I know what I know. Just promise me you'll return. That's a part of a promise I already told you I won't break. You'll always have Homer here. What is this? Lee Lynn squeezes her chest with both of her hands. This annoying sensation. I'll spend the day, then I'll go home. I don't want to leave. Lynn, I didn't know. I don't know anything about her. She's my sister, yet I don't know anything. Butterflies? Did she like him? Like, like, like? I don't know. Back up here, this is where we just used to play. I miss those times, Lynn. It was just too short around in Vinoma. Vinoma slowly regains her sense, noticing that the dealer entity is staring at her intensely. No, leave me alone! I have to get to him as fast as I can. I'm almost, all, almost there. He'll help, won't he? Run! You go! Uh. Oh, come on! Who would? It's a bit unfair, I say. Time for a save. 
Don't leave me alone. My tactic. Probably not supposed to be that way. Touch this. Let's go back. I really like the music. I scared she would spawn again in front of me. It looks like it was a good decision to listen to my instincts. You do need help, please stop her, I don't want to go back. That's, That's I why I'm here. The yellow entity face with Ray stops its pursuit and stands in place of the center. The darkness is heightened from around the yellow entity. Reaper. Could you hand her over if you want to? Why don't you take her? Because you're standing in the way. I am? She's my sister, Onelma. What's your name, right? Yes, I remember my grasp. He is triggered and walked onto it. Alright, Elmond, you want to go with your sister? No! You said you didn't want me to protect you, but you're having him protect you. What's the difference? I'm not protecting just your sister. I'm protecting both of you. I would never hurt her. I've learned some things from looking at how the humans live. One of them is no matter what anyone says, it's only that, it's words. One small impulse, that's all it takes to replace words with an egg. That's the complete opposite. Just look at Anelma over here, shaking in her boots. You'd never guess she mistake her village over an impulse. Don't you think she'd do anything to get out of here right now? Including killing her sister, what do you think? It's far fetched. You're right. Maybe the whole chase thing was a little bit too much. It was necessary. I had to show her. Maybe this way we can both let go of this place. She won't stay here. No. 
in body or mind, and I won't have to be worried. What are you saying? We always wanted to start a new life, right, Yune? I can't be part of it. I lack something. I can feel all the things you feel. The only thing that makes me feel anything is not here, but it would rid me of my guilty if you were happy, sister. There was only one time I saw that in recent memory. Then glances at Ray, and she notices the approaching. It's all wrong. I just do what seems to be a logical solution. Logic isn't the only thing that makes the world work. You didn't account for a few important things. That is why I had to leave her side. And look at Melma. This is the only way, sister. You've seen that I've shown you. There is no room for disagreement. I want to tell her that I don't care. I want to tell her that I can start again. That we can get that happiness we both want together. But I can't. There's no way back for us. Not after all this. I've never thought about killing before. We got out of the orphan pitch. What happened? We sacrificed all this so we could be together. So others wouldn't take it away from us. Now you did this to make me leave you behind. You can't disagree on now. I won't be able to see things your way. Therefore, it's better that you are not together. All right, all right. Now that all the tension is gone, I'll go wait at the door on fire. Campfire until you're done. Lynn, goodbye, sister. I wish it was never going to happen on Noah. It was a delusion that took me way too long to see through. I still wish I could have. Go with him. You need to leave this place behind. Do you honestly think I'd be able to after all this? I know better than to hope for that. I thought I was the softer one. You are. That's why you're saying that. Would this have happened without him? I have no answer to make you feel better. I should just let this place go. Just go. That's so sad. You look slightly traumatized. In one day, everything will put all effort into gone, destroyed by us, by me. Don't be so hard on yourself. We wanted this to an extent. I don't know what I want anymore. I couldn't say that no matter how hard I tried. Why? I suppose it's only fair. I explained to you why this happened and what exactly happened. Do I really want to know? Maybe it will help you. Oh wait, I'm listening. You know, all those rumors about me destroying villages, I never really did anything except what I did to you, for lack of a better term. Let's refer to it as an infection. I infected you, right? That means you slowly become like me. Well, not exactly like me, but that's just a detail. But while your body, once again, for the lack of a better term, transformed. Yeah. By certain synapses, you desire overpowers your consciousness, morals, values, whatever there is, they also manifest outside of your mind. In reality, the moment it hit you, most likely, was the moment you thought of something like killing them all. Why? Why would you do that to me? I've made a bet with myself. If I survive the fall, I revive my race. The fall, just remember where you found me. You jump. I jumped. I should have. I shouldn't have brought you home. I have feelings too, you know. Like I care because of all this. I have nothing left. You're the first thing I have. With a hundred years at least. No step in the right direction. For so many. Whatever does that mean? 
the psyche, but it sounds like there is a future. What future? He has nothing left to lose, right? Just come with me and you'll see him. I hate you so much. Saving you was a mistake, talking to you was a mistake, everything was a mistake. And I must slash straight as hard as she can. I hate you. I can live with that. You're my first link, the only road for you to walk is the one next to me. Lynn, I know where to go, even though I hate him. I have no other choice. Alright, I'll go with you. I'm glad to hear. But not to think like this is ever going to happen again. No one is going to die. Have I ever become like this again? You have to stop me. That sounds like an amusing challenge. It's not a challenge. Yes, sure. Repenting, I get it. it Piss me off so much. I'm glad you're so energetic. Does that mean we can go? <sighs> yes. Wanna go back? I'm just thinking. I feel like I forgot something. Someone did you kill? I really wonder why I'm going with you right now. But you're not that far off. Maybe another time. After going with him, my anger started to fight. I didn't blame him. I simply couldn't. I just looked into the mirror and saw the red monster everywhere. He was that he gave me hope for me to do this. In the end, I was the one who was using it. I'm the only one responsible for that. Even though I left the village, I feel like it's stuck with me. Wherever I go, part of me is still there and is not willing to leave. As for Lynn, I didn't hear from her as I left. I'm worried about her, but not particularly about her safety. I hope she found a better way to cope with this whole thing than I have. Ray and I headed towards the place. He said it's safe for our kind. It didn't take long to get there. A week later. Oh god, I thought it's over. Holy shit. Oh, I can't take this anymore. Is this it? Yep. What's so special about it? It's a place fit for a kind. For starters, the door can only be opened by one of us. Wanna try? Sure. Oma walks up to the huge stone and touches it. It looks ancient as hell, but it'll do for now. Wait. Where are you going? I'm going to get us some new friends. What about me? I thought since you hate me, you might want to just stay here instead of taking along. Since Omela chose to accept and take responsibility for what she's done, she puts her pride aside and asks Ray to stay. Could you show me around first? How come? I'm not sure if I'm ready to be alone with myself. Understandable. Alright, I'll stay for a while. We have all the time in the world anyway. Thanks. Go in. Right. What is this? Oh, Nelma reads the stone tablet. Balance is progress, progress is imbalance. I found a little contradiction, my ancestors craved into it. They were completely obsessed with it. It means that only through striving for balance can one get progress, but progress naturally causes imbalance. It's a devilish cycle that never ends, constantly striving for balance, constantly causing imbalance. I like it. Wow. Bon, climb the fence. The entry mountain is hollow? Yeah. It's held up by a lot of things. If you look deep down enough, you can see a city down there. A city? This glowing circle here would take you down there. 
So there's nothing down there, everything was so... He must be really lonely here. Be prepared, it's not a big deal. I don't need a big deal. It really isn't a big deal. I just sleep and eat here when I'm not somewhere else. There are the only things in the house that look like they have for decoration. The mirror and the painting. The painting shows a middle-aged woman with blonde hair and blue eyes. She looks content. Who is that? A reminder. Anyway, there is plenty of food and water in the boxes and barrels in the back. So if you want to stay inside, you can. What's the catch? The catch? Was murdering your village enough of a catch? I want to know. There must be something. Here you go. Projecting your human standards on me. If you want a catch, I'll give you one. You have to exist as long as you do eat all you want, drink all you want, do whatever. This isn't fair to Lin. Life, life isn't fair. If you're given something for free, just accept it. I'm pretty sure this is what your sister wanted for you anyway. But without her, if she wanted to be a part of it along with you, she would be here. He's right. I've spent my entire life depending on her without giving her any room to share the weight. Only Emma looks down. Straight into the mirror. Straight into he looks straight back. Hey. Only Emma touches the mirror. Can you tell me what I want? I've lost track. I doubt so. You're me after all. Unelma, let's go. Oh, that's so sad. God. I want to see the under ending though. I'll let the credits roll and then I'll load another save. First, I'll have to drink something, the throat is getting sore. Elma, it's here. The one survivor. I won't let anything happen to her. I'll protect her. No matter what. He's the only one that can give me forgiveness. Uh, this game is so, so deep. Continue. I have to see what the other ending is, so we will be right back.